Hello, this is my another video and in this video I'll show you how to restore and fix buttons on iRobot Roomba 400 series or also known as Discovery series. Um, today I've got a Roomba SE uh, in here. By the way, this is my another Roomba SE. I have got three more of them and I got this one again for it. Still, uh, it's in pretty good condition and also this one is pretty weird because um, the serial number is right here and also it has a sticker with the model on it yeah it's not printed on the plastic but well whatever today i'll show you how to fix buttons on this rumba as you can see I'll focus it a little bit uh, as you can see uh, sometimes the buttons just doesn't work this one is okay. oh yeah it's not it's not perfect Yeah, see, it's clicking, but it doesn't work and the clean is just nearly dead. Oh, I'll restart. Yeah, see, the buttons are totally gone. Yeah, the clean just, ah, uh, this does not work at all. I'm really pushing it hard and I don't want to damage the Roomba, so. Can I even turn it on? No, I'll leave it like that. Uh, today I'll show you how to fix this problem and it's pretty easy. The only thing you need to know is to uh, is some knowledge uh, of how to take the room apart. And you also need some brush, like this little one. Uh, also, uh, you're gonna need a toilet paper and even better, uh, these uh, sticks for cleaning your ear, they are even better and also you will need some rubbing alcohol and of course some screwdrivers for the uh, Roomba to take it apart. So let's begin. Once you're in the Roomba inside, uh, there may be a lot of dust, uh, surprisingly there isn't that much. Uh, well, I also cleaned it out before with a compressed air. But once you're inside the Roomba, you need to unplug this carefully. This is the connector from the control panel with the buttons. Uh, and now also you can totally remove this cover. Uh, you don't need the Roomba itself, you can put this away for now and now you will need this cover now we will flip it over and we will take out these three screws and now um, oh it already fell out uh, now well you got to the board for the buttons and these are the buttons itself you can remove them like that uh, you can wash this if it's dirty you can also wash this but i'm not going to do it now because it's pretty clean so i don't need to do it uh, but we'll put this away for now and now we need to get this little board out it can be glued in like this but don't worry you can break off the glue it doesn't have to be here yeah you can push on it like that and it is finally released you can put you can also wash this or clean this if it's dirty but you don't have to put this away and now we need this board and as you can see these little things these little silver, silver things are the buttons itself they are pretty uh, easy to disassemble i'll show you in a minute and they are also pretty easy to fix so these buttons then work as you uh, so earlier uh, these buttons are hold on uh, uh, by a little clear tape sometimes it can be uh, yellow maybe someone already did it on this Roomba or uh, it's just transparent like normal and now we're gonna need 
something like a flathead small screwdriver to scrape the uh, this tape off. Well, not to scrape, but just to take it off like that. There we go, just like this. And there you go, this is the button. And there it is. So these are the contacts on the board. And you can, and you can also kind of see. Um, this one is pretty okay, but there is a little bit of debris on uh, on that. Or some dirt, I don't know. Um, this button looks pretty okay too, but you can also see that in the middle on the dot there is a little bit of some something, I don't know. Uh, I'll clean that in a minute, I'll show you. Now I need to remove the rest of the buttons. Okay, so all you have to do how to clean these contacts is to grab some toilet paper, fold it like that, grab your alcohol, pour it on that, and just wrap on the contacts like this. Be careful not to damage anything, but take your time with it to get the best results. If you want to use the uh, ear pick, you just simply put the alcohol on it, just like on the toilet paper, and clean it like this. I highly recommend these uh, for this application because it's uh, way nicer to work with them and it's also a bit easier. Once you're done with this, you'll need to take off the tape from these little um, parts of the button, uh, turn it over on this side and clean this side for it too. When you're done with the cleaning, just like this, now it should look way nicer. Same with these little buttons. Um, now, everything you need, and I forgot to mention it uh, in the beginning, is a classic office ear tape, just like this one, and cut out little squares out of this. Once your tape is ready, just like that, this is perfect, grab these little things, put it in your finger carefully, not to lose it, grab one of the tapes, uh, put the tape over it like that. Awesome, and it should have these little two little legs on this side. So look at these legs in these holes inside of this. Right like that. Uh. Uh. Wrong again. It's gonna be a little tricky. And there we go, it should be in. Yes. And it's in, just like that. And this is how you can do it. If you've got some kind of razor blade or something, you can cut off the excessive, the, uh, the tape you don't need. Just like that. And this is the final result and it looks and hopefully it also works great uh, now repeat the process with all of these buttons okay once you got er everything uh, well reassembled and installed you can see it's nice in place as it should be buttons click and now all you need to do is to reassemble the Roomba so let's do it
want to assemble this part it can be a little tricky um, test out the buttons if they click and these do so now let's reassemble the rest of the rumba This is it. So now it's already assembled again, and let's see if it works. If the buttons work just normal, great sensitivity on power. Spot works just okay. Yeah, see, I don't even need much pressure. Works awesome, and now the clean. Haha, <laughs> just like new. Yeah. Perfect. So, this was fixing the Roomba Discoveries or the Roomba 400 Sys uh, buttons. I hope it. Uh, I hope it helped to at least somebody. I think this is a pretty useful thing because these buttons wear off on these Roombas pretty well not quickly but over the years they just stop working but it's a pretty easy fix I think and you can also do it at home. I hope this helped, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Um, bye! And the battery is dead. Please charge, Please charge. Please charge.